by the hand and seal of the emperor, Gaius Caesar Augustus Germanicus. This day in the year of our Lord's empire, 41, Pontius Pilate, former governor of Judea, is hereby sentenced to complete an irredeemable exile. He is banished to the island of Lipos, where all rights and privileges afforded to the citizens of the state of Rome are hereby revoked and torn from him. Let citizens and history recall the power and glory of Rome, and let those who are outcast remember and despair. Give it. Lydia, come back here, Lydia. I told you, leave this nice man alone. He's new, I'll bet it's him. I'm sorry. No, no, it's, it's okay. Here's your ball, Lydia. Do you like it? <laughs> it's the best ball I've ever seen. The most fun? Ever. Tell the man thank you. Who are you? Lydia. No, it, it's okay. My name is Pontius. Pontius Pilate. I told you. Pontius Pilate? The stories are true then. I'm sorry that you know the name. You killed that man. What was his name? I'm sorry. Life is dull here on this small island. Celebrities are few. We are not in Rome. <laughs> I need not be reminded of that. <laughs> you don't seem crazy. <laughs> Is that what you've heard? Oh, yes, that you're quite mad. Most like to kill yourself any day. <laughs> I'm neither mad nor ready to die, so perhaps we'll see each other again. Come, Lydia. Will you tell me about it someday, if I visit you? Tell you about it? Oh, yes, killing a god. It must have been the most amazing thing. I'm sorry. She is young. It must have been the most amazing thing. Ah, oh, Pontius Pilate. Pilate, you rogue of a man, that girl has you pegged. <laughs> Perhaps I am mad after all. Welcome back to Rome. Come, greet your most kindly emperor, Gaius Caesar, Caligula himself. I've been hearing the most amazing things about you. I fear your hand was not firm enough in Judea. But the pressure must have been enormous. All of those beards shouting, Crucify! Crucify! Why, it must have rivaled the Colosseum. Will you haunt me alone tonight, or will there be others? Oh, I'd like to honor you, good pilot, but perhaps a reappointment, but there's a problem. Pilot! Pilot, there's something wrong. It's a terrible thing. Horrible. How could you sleep last night? Let him go. You must let him go. Or give him to Herod or something. Wash your hands of it. Of the whole thing. You have to listen to me, husband. Get him off your hands. How did she know? A dream. Husband, the most horrific dream. It was a warning. I'm sure of it. I know it. Pontius! It is whispered in the halls of Rome that in Pilate's Jerusalem, the name of Rome is mocked. Pontius Pilate! I am Caiaphas, High Priest of God. Wake up, man, and be the voice of law and of Rome. Come out, Governor. Honor our Passover, our festival. You see, Pontius, we are an empire. We condemn all blasphemers against the one God and rebels against the peace of Rome. You must rule before Passover begins. And empires do not deal lightly with rival lords. Come away from the window. The mob will disperse, they'll forget, and we'll just go on. Come away from the window. Hush, woman! You have been sent to govern in the just causes of Rome. Your power must decide the fate of this man who dares to call himself King of the Jews. But what has he done? He makes himself equal to God. Peace is an iron fist, and I fear yours was not fist enough. And now we have what? 
A roaring in the streets, uprising, insurrection! We've got to get out of this forsaken place. We must remove ourselves. Pilate, take me back to Rome. I will not return in disgrace. He makes himself equal to God. I find nothing wrong in him. By the gods, man. If Rome is going to kill a man. But I saw him placed in the tomb. I posted the guards. You must release him. Let him go. Jesus of Nazareth must die before the Sabbath. He must stay dead. Can you not be silent? Are you angry, Mr. Pilot? I can't make the ways be quiet either. Yes, it, it is a problem. Yeah, frustrating. Yes. Is that why you were shouting? No, no I, I, I was shouting because I was hungry. That's not why you were shouting. Yes, it was. Mr. Pilot, I think you're a very sneaky man. <laughs> Do you like cheese? Yes, very much. What do you say? Thank you. I have to go. Well, tell your mother thank you. Mr. Pilot? Yes? I might be glad you're here. Good night, sweet messenger. Oh, where will you sleep? Good night, Lydia. Excuse me. Oh, hello. I'm sorry. No, it, it's okay, but it is very late. Yes, it is. Well, can I get you something? Fate seems to have delivered a very nice basket this evening, and I, I'd be glad to share. I would not call it fate. No? Well, what would you call it then? Kindness, grace, the love of God, perhaps. <laughs> Are you his messenger? What do you want? I, I wondered, do you have a place to stay? I stay here. Well, how do you sleep? I don't. You don't? Not anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> you seem to be sorry for a great many things. You should not be. Aren't you? What do you mean you don't sleep? I, I don't sleep. Sometimes two, three days at a time, and then maybe an hour or two, and back to being awake. There are medicines for such things. There are none for me. I saved it. One day, I, I will walk into the sea, close my eyes, and that will be medicine enough. Is there to be no rest until then? A man must be left alone to rest. Loneliness can be a hard bed. Sometimes rest comes when a listener, a, a friend is found. Good, good woman, for, for your kindness and your deeds, I thank you truly, I do, but... I have been exiled to this island by Rome to spend my days here rotting in full sight of the sun and my deeds until finally one day I am drawn into the tides and I will drift there and be forgotten. 
Spend your kindness on your daughter and do not come again. But, sir! Uh, you have made your mark. I have business to attend to. Leave me. I do not have to speak to you. I am done with you. It is as you say. Be silent! Be silent. I'm just Pilate. I am Caiaphas, high priest of God. Wake up, man, and be the voice of law and of Rome. Caiaphas, come into my world if you were to speak to me. I will not be defiled. You are already defiled. What accusation do you bring against this man? He mocks our laws, and the rabble call him Messiah. He is not the first. Pilate, you must give us justice. The festival is exploding. Soon there will be bedlam in the streets, an uprising that will catch the eye of Rome and bring down the legions on both of us. But what accusation do you bring against this man? Crucify him, you coward! He must be crucified! The hourglass was turning, wasn't it, Governor? Oh, yes, I know. The, the Jewish festival, the Sabbath, the holy rabble, the great ecstasy of blood. All of them calling out, choose, Pilate, choose. But there was no choice. If Pilate releases the man, then Pilate is weak a pawn of lesser men. And Rome does not deal with lesser men, nor their pawns. So Pilate nails the man to a cross. But all is not well, because now with the man screaming on the tree, Pilate can't sleep. Pilate can't face himself. But they brought no evidence. Precisely! I know your kind, Pontius Pilate. You favor innocence. Oh, yes. I've struck it, haven't I? You knew. You hoped to save yourself and your place in Rome. And in so doing, you revealed your very heart. And I find that heart to be weak and petty. Pontius Pilate, you will govern no more. I do not have to speak to you. It is as Be you- Be quiet and shut up! Do you, do you not realize that I have the power to put you on a cross? It is cold. I thought I told you to leave me. But you are suffering. It is, it is my fate. I will suffer it. Please, just go. Who are you talking to? Where is your husband? He is at sea. And when will he return? I don't know. Perhaps before winter. So you've heard the stories? Yes, my husband brings news. These stories, what... What do they say? They say this Jesus of Nazareth was a prophet. Some say a rebel, others the Son of God. Did you know him well? No. Well, anything you could tell me, I'd be grateful. Are you a disciple of his? I don't know. His story calls to me. 
I've met many men. I've watched them war and die. I've watched them bear suffering, some with honor and some with shame. And then there are those that are like the titans of the Greeks that, that walk the earth like gods. So strong are their hearts. They say Pilate is such a titan. No, no, you don't understand. Listen, listen. For one hour he stood before me. And in that hour, in those eyes, I saw something that I've never seen before. In no eyes have I ever seen it. Not in the eyes of Caesars, nor of kings, nor of petty titans. They say he was not afraid. What is fear when you've pierced the curtain of life and death and walked among the stars? I don't understand. Neither did I. What did you do with him? Nothing. Nothing at all. But there is no peace for you. I... I am tired. May I return tomorrow? As you wish. Good night, then. They want me to crucify you. But you're not that kind of man, are you? The kind that I crucify. Tell me this. Are you a king? Do you want to know for yourself? It is a simple question. Others have told you, haven't they? I am not a Jew. It is your own who have condemned you. What have you done? Have my disciples begun to war? Have they attacked you? My kingdom is not of that kind. <laughs> so you are a king. It is you who say it. Yes, I am a king. I would have killed him on the spot. Or released him. The mob would have done it for you, you know. Fool, his followers will gather an army and Tiberius will have to send for us. He will exile us for this stupidity. The feasters will tear the temple apart. We are on the verge of riot. You, Pilate, are the law. I would have killed him on the spot. Or released Fool. him. The His mob followers would have done will it gather for an you, army. You know. Tiberius you will have to tear the man. temple he apart. They are on the verge of riot. You, you Pilate, are, are the law. God's blasphemy. You must be punished. Law. Caesar doesn't like kings. My kingdom is not of this world. No? Well, then what world is your kingdom of? I have come to bear witness to the truth. <laughs> the truth. All those who stand on the side of truth listen to my voice. Caesar is he has done no wrong! He has done nothing wrong! Can't you see that? He is an innocent man! He has done nothing! I give you Barabbas! Take Barabbas! Take him! I wash my hands of his blood! I wash my hands of him! Are you alright, Mr. Pilot? Yes. No. 
I do not know. Can you tell us? I, t I tried to release him. It was there. It was there. It was their thing every year to release one man. I tried to release him. He was innocent then. Did I not say as much? Such a man as I've never seen. Such, such eyes as I will never escape. No, I, I will never say such words again. Crucify, crucify, crucify! What did they do? What did they do with him then? I will not be responsible for this man's blood. I wash my hands of him! I wash my hands of all of you! Kill him yourself! His blood will not stain me. Look. His blood is on my hand. The testament always against me. Always. Always. Pilot. Pilot. That is not the end of it. They say that is not the end of it. They say something more came to pass. Spirit is ever close to me. Tell me. Ever close. Please. Ever close. Forgive me. Sir, I'm suddenly afraid. Yes. So am I. Please, just... Just go. Won't you come with us? Perhaps to dinner at our house? The law allows it. Mother says so. Perhaps... Perhaps tomorrow. If... If you find me here... I will go with you then. If we find you here? Yes. If you find me here. Until then. All right, and until then, come, Lydia. Where would you go, Mr. Pilot? Lydia. It's such a pretty name. Sir, you've been so kind to me. If you don't mind, his spirit. Ever close. Ever close. Is it a welcome thing? I do not know. Who was he, this man? What does he want from you? From me. Is it possible? Perhaps he knew. Or knows. Or knows how prisoners can be released? released? Yes. No, not in Rome. The condemned stay as they are. But we are not in Rome. Perhaps we are in a, in a different kingdom. Perhaps. Tomorrow, then. Keep it just till tomorrow.
wants from me.